Let's stand up and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Okay, you may please sit down. Thank you. Do you understand why you are here today? Yes, I understand. I am here for the American citizenship interview. Very good. Why do you want to become an American citizen? I want to vote in the next election. Okay, very good. Do you know when the next election is? Yes, the federal election is in November. Very good. Now we are going to go over your application to see if there have been any changes. Do you still live at the same address? Yes, the same address. Has your address changed? No, there isn't any changes. Okay, what is your name? My name is John Mitchell. What is your first name? My first name is John. What is your last name? My last name is Mitchell. What is your middle name? I don't have a middle name. Okay, can you tell me your family name? My family name is Mitchell. Very good, okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is June 8, 1959. Where were you born? I was born in Morelia, Mexico. Can you tell me in which city you were born? I was born in Morelia. Good. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident six years ago. What year did you become a permanent resident? 2012. How long have you lived at your current address? I have lived at my current address for 12 years. When did you move to your current address? I moved there in 2007. Are your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Are your parents alive? My mother is alive, but my father has passed away. I am sorry to hear that. It's okay. How tall are you? I am six foot one inches tall. What is your weight? My weight is 165 pounds. Do you work? Yes, I do work. Where do you work? I work at Stark Hotel. What kind of job? Do you have there? I work as a cook. Do you attend school? Does that mean do I go to school? Yes, correct. Yes, I attend school. Which school do you go to? I go to the Thomas Public School for classes. Okay, very good. What kind of classes? I take history classes at the school. How often do you have class? I have classes two times every week. How many times have you left the United States in the last five years? I left the United States six times. I went to Mexico three times. I went to Europe two times, and I went to Canada one time. Where did you go in Europe? I went to many countries. Can you tell me some of the countries? I went to France, Italy, Poland, and Germany. 
very nice. Whether any of your trips was for six months or more. No, they were not. How long were they? They were all four, minimum two or three weeks. Okay, what were your reasons for leaving the country? I went to Mexico to see my family and to see my doctor. I went to Europe and Canada for vacation. What is your current marital status? I am divorced. How many times have you been married? Two times. How many children do you have? I have three children. What ages are they? They are twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-five. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, I haven't. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, I haven't. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or being confined to a mental institution? No, I haven't. What does it mean to be legally incompetent? It means you can't take care of yourself. What is a mental institution? It's a place for people with mental problems. What are taxes? Taxes are money you need to pay to the government. Okay, have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a permanent resident? No, I haven't. What is a tax return? A tax return is the tax you pay after finish of every year. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a permanent resident? No, I haven't. What is a non-U.S. resident? It's someone who is not a permanent resident. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with the communist? No, I haven't. What is the Communist Party? That's a government like Cuba, China, or North Korea. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with any totalitarian party? No, I haven't. What is a totalitarian party? It's a government. That controls everything, like Pinochet of Chile. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with a terrorist organization? No, I haven't. What is a terrorist organization? It's a group that tries to hurt people, like Osama bin Laden or Al Qaeda. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No, I haven't. What does it mean to advocate or overthrow a government by force? It means you try to change the government with violence. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion? Or national origin, membership in any particular social group, or political opinion. No, I haven't. Did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No, I didn't. What is the Nazi government from Germany? It's the government of Hitler. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? 
No, I wasn't. What is genocide? It means to kill a group of people for their race. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No, I wasn't. What is torture? It means to hurt someone for information. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. What does it mean to kill someone? It means to make someone dead. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. What does it mean to practice religion? It means you have freedom of religion or you don't have to have a religion. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in a military unit? No. Did you serve in a paramilitary unit? No. Did you serve in a police unit? No, I didn't. Did you serve in a self-defense unit? No, I haven't. Did you serve in a vigilante unit? No. What is a vigilante unit? It means you are not the police, but you act like the police. Did you serve in a rebel group? No, I haven't. What is a rebel group? It's a group that fights the government. Did you serve in a guerrilla group? No. What is a guerrilla group? It's like a rebel group that uses violence. Did you serve in a militia? No. What is a militia? Militia is a military group that comes from the normal people who aren't in the army. Were you ever a member of or did you serve in an insurgent organization? No. What is an insurgent organization? It's a group that fights the government. What about a detention facility? No, never. In a labor camp? No. Were you ever part of a group or did you ever help any group unit or an organization that use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? No. What is a weapon? It's something that you use to hurt people, like a gun. Did you ever sell, give or provide weapons to any person or help another person to sell weapons? No, I haven't. Did you ever received any type of military, paramilitary or weapons training? No. What is military training? It's when you learn how to fight in the army or something like the army. Did you ever recruit, enlist or use any person under age 15 to serve in or help an armed force or group? No, I didn't. If you ever use any person under age 15 that helped or supported people in combat? No, I didn't. Have you ever committed a crime, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime? No, I didn't. Have you ever been arrested or detained 
by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No, I haven't. So, no traffic tickets? No, I had no traffic tickets. You never had been pulled over by cop? No, I was never pulled over by a cop. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No, I have done no crimes. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, I haven't. What does it mean to be convicted of a crime? It means, jury says, you are guilty. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? No, I haven't. What is a rehabilitation program? It's something like jail, but outside of jail. Have you ever received a suspended sentence or been placed on probation or been paroled? No. What is probation? It means you don't have to go to jail, but you still have to talk to the police. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, I have never been in jail or prison. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, I haven't. What is a habitual drunkard? It means you have an alcohol problem and you drink too much, too often. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, I haven't. What is a prostitute? It's someone who has sex for money. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? No, I haven't. What are controlled substances? They are illegal drugs and things like drugs. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, I haven't. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No, I haven't. Have you ever helped anyone enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No, I have done nothing illegal. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, I haven't. What is gambling? It means you bet on a game. Is gambling legal? Sometimes, and in some places, gambling is legal, like Las Vegas. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No, I haven't. What is alimony? It means money that you pay to your ex-husband or ex-wife. Do you pay alimony? I do not pay alimony, and I don't receive alimony. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, I haven't. What is misrepresentation? It means a lie. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No, I haven't. Have you ever bribed to any U.S. government official to gain entry for admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No, I haven't. Have you ever been removed, excluded, 
or deported from the United States? No, I haven't. What is deportation? It means you have to leave the country. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No, I haven't. What are deportation proceedings? It means the court asks you need to leave the country. Any removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No, there are no proceedings against me. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, I haven't. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I support the Constitution. What is the form of government in the United States? The form of government in the United States is constitutional government. Do you understand the oath of allegiance? It means I am loyal to the U.S. and I will follow the laws of this country. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am willing. What does it mean to bear arms? It means you will fight for the government if the government asks you. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I am willing. What are non-combatant services? It means you work for the military, but you aren't into the military. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am willing. Congratulations, you have passed the interview. Thank you. I am looking forward to see you at the Oath of Allegiance ceremony. Thank you.